fight for LGBTQ rights is not new to the South. In fact, LGBTQ people, people living with HIV, and our allies in the South have been in the vanguard of our movement for half a century. This can be seen with the founding of University of Georgia's first queer rights group, the Committee on Gay Education in 1971, along with the first pride parade organized by the Georgia Gay Liberation Front that same year. As our community knows all too well, as we make progress, those who want to silence us and even criminalize our very existence put up a fight. In 1986, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that Georgia's sodomy law was constitutional, validating other state sodomy laws across the country in a time that HIV was devastating the community. Only a few years later, in 1993, Cobb County adopted a resolution calling homosexuality incompatible with the standards to which this community subscribes. The message was that our existence could not even be tolerated in the county. As many of you remember, this resulted in our community fighting back until the International Olympic Committee removed the 1996 Olympic events from Cobb County. This resistance to our existence has and always will push our community in Georgia to fight even harder. So as the battle lines were clearly drawn in the 1990s, Lambda Legal understood that the fight for our rights was going to be fought and won in the South. This is when our staff and members of National Board of Directors made the strategic decision to open Lambda Legal's Southern Regional Office. We started wanting to have a Southern Regional Office because we could tell that where the real need was, was not in New York or even in California, but in the South, because that was the region of the country that had the most discrimination and the most need for LGBT legal representation. We had community support from the beginning. I started in the SRO at the very beginning of 2002. Almost as soon as the doors opened, there was work being done on a case called Powell versus State, which was about the Georgia sodomy law. And this is the same infamous Georgia sodomy law that the U.S. Supreme Court had upheld in 1986. Well, in 1998, we got that law basically invalidated. And that state court victory, along with a few others, including our win in Arkansas, helped set the stage for winning nationwide with the Lawrence v. Texas case in 2003 the U.S. Supreme Court. My work here has involved a lot of very interesting cases that I feel very fortunate to have been a part of. Vandy Beth Glenn came to us when she was fired from the uh, Georgia General Assembly, and we took on her case to try to get the courts to say that this was sex discrimination. We prevailed in the Northern District of Georgia, and we prevailed at the 11th Circuit. It was a really breakthrough case and was one of the key building blocks to the Bostick versus Clayton County case that said that all LGBT employees are protected against sex discrimination nationwide that came down in 2020. Another big case was the Atlanta Eagle Raid case. We sued for what they'd done in raiding the Eagle and we reached a major settlement with them that not only you know, benefited the individual plaintiffs financially, but also imposed various changes in the way that the Atlanta Police Department operates still to this day. So our work here in this office is not only benefiting uh, individuals, but also Georgia families, as shown by the Georgia marriage case that we did, and also the Mize Gregg case. Opening up the, this regional office was important for the people here in this region, but we've also had a huge impact nationwide. The last 25 years have been extraordinary, and we are just getting started. Why? Because our opponents will not stop coming after us and our families. From West Virginia to Texas and Tennessee to Florida, harmful legislation is being passed and we remain on the ground with local partners to stop it. The final line of defense, however, is in the courts, and we remain steadfast in our defense of our community. The battle continues. We continue to be under attack. So Lambda needs to be vigilant nationally. But as always, the greatest need is in the South because most Southern states are under right-wing political control. Southern legislatures continue to pass anti-LGBT, particularly anti-trans laws, and the need for legal battle and legal fighting back uh, is stronger than ever. 
25 years ago, Lambda Legal committed to winning the rights for LGBT people and everyone living with HIV by opening the Southern Regional Office in Georgia. Our most important victories and growth in the South have been driven by the support of our community and partners. We are so grateful today to reflect on our past, be grounded in our present, and recommit to our future. Thank you for your incredible support.